This is the second video on enzymes. What are the factors that affect enzyme activity? Well, there are five factors. There's temperature, pH, substrate concentration, enzyme concentration, and the presence of inhibitors. Let's discuss temperature. Increasing the temperature of an enzyme-controlled reaction will result in an increase in the rate of reaction up to a point. The rate or the speed of the reaction will increase until such time as the optimal temperature is reached. This is the temperature at which the enzyme will catalyze the reaction at the fastest rate. Increasing the temperature above this causes a change in the shape of the active site because the hydrogen bonds holding it together get destroyed. Eventually, the active sites become so altered in shape that they are no longer able to bind with the substrate and so they're said to be denatured. So let's talk about pH now. When you compare the enzyme pH graph with that of the temperature graph, you should note immediately the narrowness of the graph for pH. The best way to understand the pH graph is to start at the peak and read to either side. Enzymes have a very low tolerance for pHs that are not the optimal pH. So you can see here that the optimal pH is pH 7. This is the pH at which the enzyme will catalyze at the fastest rate. Any deviation from the optimal pH results in a sort of chemical tug of war, where the bonds holding the active site together get strained. Altering the pH interferes with the chemical bonds holding the active site in place, giving it its shape. As the pH deviates away from the optimal pH, you'll notice a drop in the rate of reaction, or a drop in the rate of enzyme activity. It's because those active sites are being altered and can no longer catalyze the reaction. Depending on the enzyme, there will be particular pHs at which there is no enzyme activity. The active site is so altered that the enzyme is said to be denatured and so cannot catalyze any reaction. Just to draw to your attention that in some books you'll see optimum pH or optimum temperature and in others you'll see optimal pH and optimal temperature. It means the same thing. Please ensure that you explain fully every term you use in your exams. For example, denatured means the active site shape is so altered that it can no longer bind with its specific substrate, therefore it can no longer catalyze the reaction. Let's very briefly discuss inhibitors. Competitive inhibitors are those substances that can mimic or copy the shape of the substrate. This means that they can then bind with the active site, and if they do this, then no substrate can, and so there's no reaction. Then there are the non-competitive inhibitors. These don't bind directly with the active site. They bind elsewhere on the surface of the enzyme. And by doing so, it causes the active site to change shape so that it can no longer bind with the substrate. So that was enzymes for the Leaving Cert. It's always asked in some form or another. Make sure you know the practicals as well connected to this chapter. Always use your book, always do past papers and always listen to your teacher's guidance. The best of luck.